This is a video that I've been meaning to do ever since I talked about these little lens guards for the X3, and that's actually what you're uh, hearing this from, seeing this from. This is straight out of the X3, uh, but I have not put the guard on yet. I took the sticky mount guards back off because when I first found these, I thought they were the perfect answer to the fact that the sticky lens mounts would scuff really easy in the bottom of my kayak. They were so difficult to put on and take off if something happened to them. Whereas this, you know, it's got little hinges, it goes on and off really easy, but I think I have found a flaw in this system to where if you do a lot with water, like if you are a kayaker, a, a stand-up paddleboarder, a surfer, any kind of thing where water is where the camera gets submerged a little bit or where you're going to want to submerge it i think this might not actually be the answer and the sticky lens mounts is probably better for you so we're going to go kayaking today and we're going to try out and test my theory Once I get to Kohl's, I'm going to put that guard on and everything from that point on will have the protective guard housing on it so that you can see how it sounds, how it looks, and yeah, if it uh, is able to hold up to the water and going from the hot, humid air down into the cold water of the savannah. So we'll see how things turn out. shells on the side of a river or whatever and I think there's another one right there that's usually a good sign of muskrats otters uh, muskrats and otters yep. <laughs> a comparison. What you just saw was this got protective casing on it where it's got water in it, it's clogged up, and then this is no casing on the Insta360. So you can see just how clear it is and how well those lenses got clogged up.
<laughs> what do you got? As you can see from the previous footage, the premium lens guards that I found on Amazon didn't quite live up to the hype, at least in regards to being used in water. Before I put these in water, I felt like they did a pretty good job. Yes, there was a bit of a stitch line, but with a recent update to the Insta360 desktop app, uh, you're actually able to alter that a little bit more. There's better custom settings. Obviously, their invisible dive case uh, required a new update as well. So I feel like the stitch line has gotten better, um, especially if you sit there and you calibrate and you tweak things as you're going. But when it came to getting in the water, these things, they just, they hold water too much and you get this bad refracted image where there's part water, part not water, and it just didn't live up to what I thought it would be able to do. And you could really see that also because the water would get in there and I would go from hot air into cold water, you get that, that fogginess. It really ended up not looking well. Even after I emptied the water, wiped it down a little bit, put it back on, it still fogged up to where I couldn't really use that footage except for showing you what it looked like after emptying things out. So yeah, when it comes to water, I would definitely say don't use these for water sports. If you're gonna be going in and out of the water, definitely do what I did and go back to the sticky lens guards uh, and put those back on there. When I first got my X3, I went kayaking with it and I had it on the selfie stick and I put it down in the bottom of my boat. I have a plastic boat and I was paddling around after a little bit and when I went to put it up, I noticed that the sticky lens guard had gotten really, really scratched. And it was almost like paint had gotten off of the boat, but it's just a white plastic. So, and so what I did is I actually did a scratch test and I don't know if you can see it right there, but I scratched the ever living hell out of this front lens, basically doing what caused the sticky lens mounts to get messed up. Put it in my boat, I paddled around a little bit, let it slide around, didn't really do a whole lot. So then I purposefully scraped it, didn't do a whole lot. It really took me uh, finding an abrasive surface like concrete, uh, the, um, the concrete slab that is my uh, garage, and scraping it, and that is where I got that little film that you might be able to see or might not be able to see. I will say that the protection, in my opinion, from my experience, hasn't been terrible for outside of the water. Now, I did have somebody comment on my previous video, and he said that he had his X3 on his motorcycle with one of these on it, and at about 10 miles an hour, it fell off the mount, and the, um, the premium lens guard popped open, and the camera fell out, and both lenses got scratched. And hopefully he doesn't take offense to this, but to me, the main issue there is more of a mounting issue. Something happened with his mount, so I would be more worried about that, and less so that this happened um, he said he was going about 10 miles an hour when it hit the ground and popped open. They do actually cover up three of the mics. There's a mic here, a mic on this side, a mic there, and then a mic there. So again, what I would say is if you don't plan on doing any water sports, these premium lens guards on Amazon, they're not a bad idea. If you're looking for something rather than the sticky lens guards, um, then you know maybe it's something to look at. But if you are planning on being in water, if you're planning on dealing with rain, anything like that, it's it's not a good, it's, it doesn't do any good. And if apparently if you're on uh, a motorcycle and it falls off, they're gonna pop off possibly. Honestly, the biggest thing is that Insta360 will hopefully on what I'm guessing will be the X4, I'm really hoping as a few other people are that we'll get a screw on option. Uh, kind of like with GoPro, if you mess up one of your lenses, on several of the newer models. I don't know how far back it goes, but you're able to twist it off and replace it. So it'd be nice 
and I don't know what the, the 360 um, software limitations are, but it would be nice to be able to screw on a lens protector and actually have it made of glass and not plastic. So hopefully that comes about with the X4, but I guess we will see.